this review is of Copper's Iced Coffee Bits Dark Chocolate um, Balls, I guess. No artificial colors or flavors. Parv. And what else? Oh, no. Shush. Let's see. Um, no, 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 no. Oh, they destroyed the chocolate with alkali. Shoot. Oh, lots of cat carbs in this stuff. Uh, 11 grams of, sorry, 11 pieces, 30 grams, have got 6 grams of fat in it, 3.5 of which are saturated, no trans fats, cholesterol, or sodium, 19 grams of carbs, of which one is only... Only one is dietary fiber, 17 grams of sugar, of which nine are added in less than a gram of protein. Look, whether it's added or not really doesn't make a difference. Sugar is basically sugar. The only question is, is how much of it is glucose and how much of it is fructose? All right, so ingredients. These nutrition facts are barely useful. But it's all we've got because the American government is in bed with corporations. USDA is in bed with corporations. FDA is in bed with corporations. It is not a, a country or by, for, and of the people. It's for the rich. <laughs> yes, I'm cynical, but after 57 years, I have a reason to be cynical. Right, let's give it a try. This uh, looks to be vegan, too, because I don't see any chocolate. I mean, well, but the number one ingredient is dark chocolate. Sorry, but the number one ingredient in the dark chocolate is sugar. So this is primarily sugar. And it crunches just like sugar. So you really can't call this chocolate. It's a chocolate flavored candy. Um, because of all the sugar in it, although you can taste the coffee, it's um kind of weak. Yeah, for I, I I would say that if you would like to have some coffee flavor but not a strong coffee flavor, this is very nice. But the the amount of sugar in this is egregiously high and um definitely not for anybody who's having any kind of problems with sugar like me. So um as far as flavor is concerned I'll give it a, a seven. Thanks for watching and hope you have a great day.